Hello everyone! Halloween is just about a week away, so this is the perfect time to make something Halloween related in Common Ground World. This video will be bigger than usual. First, I'm going to talk about the upcoming competition, which features the Jack O' Lantern meta. Then, I'm going to showcase my Jack O' Lantern build, show you how well it's performing, show you what every building is making, show you what it looks like on the visualizer. Then, I'm going to talk about some important information you need to know before you make your Jack O' Lantern build. Otherwise, you'll run into issues paying your wages and you'll end up with a ghost town and you don't want that to happen then i'm going to talk about some potential free nfts you may qualify for and then i'll finally talk about my giveaway to celebrate reaching 3,000 subscribers and just to celebrate halloween you know so stay tuned for all of that and i want to get right into it so the upcoming competition will feature the jack o'lantern meta jack o'lanterns will be boosted in points giving you 50,000 points for each one so you absolutely need to sell jack o'lanterns in order to be competitive for this upcoming competition the problem is that jack-o-lanterns do not give enough cash they only give you a thousand for each one that you sell that's not going to be enough you are not going to make enough money to actually pay off all your wages making only jack-o-lanterns so the team also cash boosted wax and cotton yarn wax has been boosted to give you 4,500 cash cotton yarn has been boosted to give you 6,500 cash that makes sense considering the fact that you need to make wax and cotton yarn anyways to make the jack-o-lanterns in case you didn't know making jack-o-lanterns requires one pumpkin two wax and two cotton yarn but there are other ways to make even more money than that which i will talk about later so now i'm going to be showcasing my build right here this build is doing 126 jack-o-lanterns per hour to me that's very impressive last year i made a jack-o-lantern build that made a hundred jack-o-lanterns per hour and before i get more into this let me just first say that this isn't actually the biome that you will receive we are going to be playing in a forest biome with no special edges at the side so it's all going to be forest on the side you're not going to have a river and you're not going to have a mountain okay i'm using the biome from the previous competition because i was able to pretty much make the same build and pretend that the river is not there so do me a favor pretend that this river is useless pretend that it's not there that's the reason i have ponds giving all the passive water that you will need to have in order to grow your trees and your pumpkins just to clarify the river we're ignoring it the mountain we're ignoring it this build will work perfectly fine with the biome that we will be getting which is a forest with four forest sides just wanted to make that very clear okay like i said 126 jack-o-lanterns per hour this build is incredibly balanced i was using crypto dude's calculator shout out to crypto dude and i'll post more information about this in another video but i inserted all the values into basically everything i was making into this calculator and i can see that this build is very balanced i barely overproduced some items like i overproduced a little bit of cotton and very little pumpkins so for the most part it's only selling jack-o-lanterns it is very well balanced i am very happy to see that and now i'm going to get right into showing you what every building is there are 28 tree farms six pumpkin patches 10 cotton fields 14 wild clovers these are making the nectar for the 12 beehives that i have that are all making wax there are 14 fabric plants all are making cotton yarn and they all have one passive energy from the nearby power plant four lumber mills all making lumber they have the passive water drum and the passive energy 21 pottery shops all are on a green craft timer they do not like dirty that's why you are in courage to use a nuclear power that is the best way so i do have one nuclear power also providing all the passive energy that they need multiple water pumps here providing the passive water drums that they need and 17 of these pottery shops are making ceramic bowls as you can see here then there are four other pottery shops making jack-o-lanterns there are four clay fields this is the clay required in order to make the ceramic bowls for the most part the pottery shop workers should always be picking up the clay unless they are all busy then the forklift will come pick up the clay and take it to a warehouse but it is set up in a way where the pottery shop workers should basically be picking up the clay all the time for the workers we have a total of eight farm tractors 15 logger houses spread out around the town seven beekeeper houses these are closer to the front since they only cast one shade two forklifts one builder house but really you could do whatever 
whatever you want with that tile in the end. For storage, there are two silos to store your cotton and your pumpkins, three warehouses, one lumber yard, and one fuel storage. For the gasoline, we have your passive gasoline setup with two water pumps, two power plants, a refinery in between those crafting gasoline, and a refinery to the side crafting petroleum. We have four oil pumps which craft crude oil being picked up by the forklifts and being taken to the fuel storage. This whole setup provides us with enough gasoline to actually sell everything, especially since this build is very well balanced, you should have no issues with gasoline. And finally, one trade depot in order to sell everything in this build. Additionally, before I move on on the visualizer that I'll show in just a moment, I do not show this setup right here because I am using the subgrid placement because of the fact that I am using the subgrade placement, I am able to fit in one extra oil pump here and still have enough space to have the two forklifts and a farm tractor. I also have two little tiles here here and here where you can put your awesome scarecrow decorations you don't actually have to put anything here you could also put in an nft such as mayhem that would help you out with gathering extra cash but yeah you could just put whatever you want in these two little spots or leave them be don't do anything with them at all for auto sell you want to have everything on auto sell with the exception of lumber so everything should be at an auto sell at amount of 10 you can auto sell gasoline i have that at 38 in fact you probably Probably should auto sell gasoline in order to at least make up some additional cash because for the most part you're going to be losing cash with this build here's what the build looks like on the visualizer total cost is about 25 million cash wages are 29,160 per minute you will have issues with the wages you are going to be cash negative if you run this build so you're either going to have to make something on the side to make money or make sure you make a bunch of extra money before actually finishing finishing this build and I'll talk more about that in just a moment don't worry this file only has the one stage showing you the finished jack-o-lantern build and you can download this file in my discord server a link to my discord server is in the description of the video no nfts are required to make this build work however the enchanted ornaments provide a huge advantage in this build because they reduce the cost of the buildings as well as the wages you pay even so even if you don't have those nfts you are able to to make this build and survive so long as you gather up enough cash before you finish the entire build. So I did some rough math and you will spend 1.8 million cash per hour on the wages with this build. If you run it for 24 hours, that's about 43 million cash. So if you run this for two full days, you're looking at about 86 million cash. Remember that it costs 25 million to even build this and that's not counting the 2 million that you'll probably spend clearing out trees and rocks at the very beginning so you got to take into account that you're going to need at least a hundred million to do all this and that's just to run the build for 48 hours you may potentially be able to finish this even quicker and want to run it for 60 hours in that case you're just going to need even more cash right you're going to need a lot of money and let me tell you this the starter town they provided to us does help you out you start off with 75,000 cash instead of 25,000 cash and you start off with all the buildings you need to make wax including three warehouses to store that wax but let me tell you this you probably don't want to make wax although it sells for a decent amount you are much better off making gold or even honey but probably gold you can change your build around spend some money and make a gold rush i have a very good gold rush you could use you will have to tweak it but it'll give you an idea on how to make enough gold to actually get enough cash if you run that gold rush which does at least 15,000 gold per hour for at least 16 hours that's going to give you pretty much close to 100 million cash all the cash that you would need in order to build this as well as run it for 48 hours so i'm going to leave a link to that video in the description of this video like i said you're going to have to tweak it because we're not going to have a waterway in this competition so you're not going to be able to use a freight pier you will have to use multiple trade depots you will have to make a lot more gas so you'll have to make a double or triple gasoline setup if you know 
how to do that just to make enough gas to sell all the gold but if you're able to pull that off you'll get all the money that you need within the first 24 hours and then spend the rest of the time actually running this build you're still going to be very competitive and you are better off trying to gather some extra cash on the side better safe than sorry instead of ending up running out of money before the competition even ends and then you're kind of screwed at that point and it's very hard to recover past that point so yeah that's the guidance that i can offer when it comes to actually getting all the cash that you need in order to run this additionally you could tweak this build like i'm sure you could come up with your own ideas to make something else on the side make excess cotton yarn even make gold on the side just to continue to gather enough cash to at least break even on the wages and that way you'll have no issues that's still risky you're better off actually coming up with a build before the competition begins and practicing to make sure it actually works but yeah that's just one other thing you could do next i'm going to talk about some of the halloween nfts coming out i'll make a more in-depth video talking about their utility and what do i think about them later there's gonna be a couple of new halloween nfts and four were mentioned on the town hall that just happened this friday two of them will be potentially given out for free to qualifying players the first one would be the spooky house of laughs this one will be given for free to anybody who qualified for a common storage in the past six months and in order to qualify for that common storage all you had to do was play 10 different days in one month it's extremely easy to qualify for this one so long as you just play the game and this nft they we were told that the utility would be a seven percent faster walking speed for the chocolatier workers now the next nft that will be potentially given to free for some players is the spooky go round this will be given to free for players who spent a certain amount of money in the galley game store in the past few months i believe they haven't specified the exact amount of money either and the utility for this nft unfortunately i do not know what it is right now but i will clarify that in a future video coming soon as soon as i have more information but yeah both of those nfts are potentially free nfts that you may qualify for and you may be receiving them soon they also mentioned two other nfts that will be sold in the galley game store one is the spooky ghost tracks this will provide a crafting speed boost to the candy shops and chocolatiers and the other one is the spooky wheel of nightmares this provides passive corn which is a new crop that will play a role in the competition that comes after the jack-o-lantern competition that actually happens on halloween so i'll make a more detailed video about these nfts pretty soon there are also even other halloween nfts they are being called halloween skins i will have more information on that later hopefully you can expect some kind of halloween gacha box or mystery box to come out as well and finally last thing i want to talk about is the giveaways that i am planning to make for the community i want to thank you all so much for subscribing engaging with my content sharing my content with other people to help them out i surpassed over 3,000 subscribers earlier this month i said i would do a giveaway and then i said i'm going to delay that giveaway until the end of october so i can plan things better get the nfts that i want to give out and so i have done that now it's time so you're going to see quite a couple of giveaways i'm going to have all that information on my discord so make sure you join if you haven't once again link is in the description of the video there's going to be giveaways happening on the discord special giveaways for supporters only giveaways for the common ground world dub guild members only there's going to be a giveaway for this video as well so in this video one lucky winner will receive one green forge all you have to do is leave a comment with the phrase spooky season and a pumpkin emoji it can be any pumpkin emoji if you have multiple pumpkin emojis but yeah it's gotta say spooky season and a pumpkin emoji and i'm going to pick one random winner on october 27th and that person is going to win a green forge there's also going to be another giveaway happening on x formerly known as twitter that will involve sharing the video that you're watching right now and like i said multiple giveaways on discord those are going to be easy just click a button and enter random pickers random winners will be picked on october 27th this is going to be over 300 dollars worth of nfts it's quite a lot i'm doing this because i like to give back to the community whenever i can and this is one of those times and 
just a way to show my appreciation to you all thank you so much if you ever want to help support me you can join my patreon my youtube members you can use that affiliate link in the description of the video if you plan to buy something from the galley game store it helps out so much i set aside some funds in order to do giveaways like this i'm planning to do more in the future we also have some sponsored giveaways that happen all the time at our discord so i appreciate everyone who decides to sponsor those giveaways thank you so much everyone it really means a lot and that's all the information on the giveaways hopefully you don't miss out most of those winners will be selected on october 27th just so i can have time to give you your prizes before the competition that starts on october 31st and that's all i have for this video so remember to leave a comment leave a like subscribe to the channel i always post informative content on gala games thank you so much for watching and have a happy early halloween